Hey everyone, today's video is about when your family isn't supportive of you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. The sun began to set, casting a warm orange hue over the city as you found yourself on the rooftop of your shared apartment with Bakugo and Kirishima. Despite the calm surroundings, your heart weighed heavily with the day's troubles and tears threatened to escape. Bakugo was quick to notice your distress. He turned to you with a concerned glance. What's wrong? You snuffled, trying to voice your feelings. It's my family. They still don't support my dream of becoming a hero. It hurts. Kirishima placed a hand on your shoulder, offering support. We understand, Lion. It's tough when the people you love don't believe in you. But remember, we believe in you and your abilities. You lean into their embrace, finding comfort in their unwavering support. Bakugo and Kirishima's love acted as a shield against the pain of your family's disapproval, and you felt safe and cherished in their arms. Bakugo spoke again, his voice softening, we won't let anyone drag you down. We're in this together. Kirishima nodded in agreement, a reassuring smile on his face. Yeah, the three of us are a team. Nothing can break us apart. A soft smile formed on your lips, and amid its tears, help began to shine. Bakugo and Kirishima were your rocks, and their love inspired you to rise above the challenges life threw your way. In the days that followed, Bakugo and Kirishima made it their mission to lift your spirits, surprise dates, cheering you on during training, and thoughtful gestures filled your life with happiness. Their love enveloped you, reminding you that you were not defined by your family's lack of support. One afternoon, Kirishima surprised you with a trip to a serene meadow in the outskirts of the city. Wildfires painted the landscape, and a gentle stream flowed nearby. Kirishima grinned. I thought this place might help you relax and forget about everything for a while. He smiled back, feeling grateful for his thoughtfulness. Kiri, it's perfect. Thank you. As you spent your time together, laughter and joy returned to your heart. Bakugo and Kirishima's love made you feel invincible, ready to face any challenge life threw your way. Weeks turned into months, and you and Kirishima and Bakugo were going out more than usual, just so they could make you feel happier, and your bond grew even stronger. The love shared between the three of you burned brightly, illuminating even the darkest corners of your past. One evening, the trio found themselves at the beach, the sound of crashing waves filling the air. The sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in vibrant shades of pink and purple. Bakugo and Kirishima stood by your side, their arms wrapped around you as the three of you watched the sunset. Bakugo's eyes softened as he spoke. You know, Lion, you're amazing. Your family's lost, but you're our gain. Kirishima nodded. That's right. We're here. And we'll support you no matter what. You felt overwhelmed for the two. Incredible individuals by your side. Thank you. Both of you. I love you so much. Bakugo smirked. Love you too, idiot. Kirishima chuckled. Love you the most, Wyon. As the sun disappeared behind the horizon, you felt an overwhelming sense of love for the two amazing partners in your life. In their love, you had found your home, a place where you could be yourself unapologetically and without fear. No matter what life presented to you, you knew that you had both of them, your partners, or your heroes to be specific. As days turned into a blissful routine, the three of you continued to grow even closer, deepening your bond with each passing moment. Together, 
we face not only the rigors of hero training, but also the ups and downs of life, sharing the joys and supporting one another through the hardships. On one special evening, Bakugo suggested a special dinner at your favorite cozy restaurant. The atmosphere was warm, and laughter filled the air as the three of you were alleged to comfort of each other's company. Bakugo, smirking. Hey, don't forget to eat your veggies, you moron. You all playfully rolling your eyes. All right, mom, I'll eat them. You joked. Kirishima grinned. Bakugo, you're actually a real knack sometimes. Shut up, I'm just looking out for Ryan. Your heart filled with affection as you watched the two. Playfully banter. Their love for you was evident in every gesture, every word, and every glance exchanged. As the night grew darker, Kirishima leaned across the table to hold your hand. You know, Ion, you've come so far. Your family might not see it now, but they will eventually. And I'm sure they will say something. You softly. Thank you, Ijiro. Having you and Bakugo by my side made me go through all of this. I wouldn't have been able to without you, and I'm sure of it. Damn right, we're a team. Of course you would never have come this far without us. You laughed. After the dinner, you returned home, where the atmosphere was warm and inviting. The flickering candles and soft music set the mood for a quiet and intimate night. As you settled on the couch together, Bakugo and Kirishima embraced you, enveloping you in a cocoon of love and security. You know we love you, right? He nuzzled against Bakugo's chest. I love you both, too. Can't imagine my life without you. Kirishima tenderly brushed your hair. We're here for you, Wyan. No matter what. And with those words, your heart swelled with love and tears welled up in your eyes. But this time, they weren't tears of sadness. They were tears of joy and overwhelming love. You had found your family in the hearts of Bakugo and Kirishima. And you knew that as long as you had them, you could face any challenge that life threw your way. And so, the embers of love continued to burn, illuminating your path. As you faced each day with courage, knowing that you were loved and cherished by the two most incredible heroes in your life. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.